do you know what I it just came crashing down on me last night this thought okay do you know the way evolution oh god <laughs> I know that sounds deep but like remember my logic yeah I have very simple logic I just think about the first baby ever like how did that survive how are we where we are didn't. now yeah but how are we where we are now it had to have survived because a fish decided to walk that's why we're here <laughs> That's why we're here. No, I know we all kind of bit by bit, you know. No, a fish. (laughs) Monkeys turned into men and all that. I'm just thinking when the first fully evolved human being came out of a cave woman, how the fuck? Mull over and let me know what you think later in the episode. You're very welcome along to the Unpopular Opinion Podcast. My name is Jen. My name's Carla. <laughs> it, it is terrifying to think about though, isn't it? Like how did these... But like they didn't. They were just like, oh no. Imagine not knowing what pregnancy was and being like, what's going That's on? That's what I mean. <laughs> Absolute invalids. Not having a clue. How did the baby survive? But apparently it was all very natural. Apparently it was Adam and Eve. Do you know? It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I can tell you that. Um, uh, Yeah I don't know I think I think when you think of evolution in general Like this is what I mean A fish decided to walk And now I have to work 40 hours a week Yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd much prefer to go Just swimming in the sea I'd I'd just much prefer to go back The hunter gatherer situation I'm not built for this A few berries few bonfires Like what was the expected Like life Like 27 (laughs) Yeah yeah I would, like I would ha- I would love to not have to put up with the moaning and the negativity. Yeah. Like if we were just kind of going, uh, 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 Grant, do you know? Yeah. I wouldn't have to listen to Lisa's we're really, shit. Yeah. When we were like we weren't we were barely communicating. Yeah. Uh, uh, like you know yeah. what I mean? Grant. Like grunting. Yeah. Yeah. Something Didn't have grunt. to. But all you did was feast and fuck. I don't know if I'd be into that either. It was fairly savage. Yeah. And like imagine sleeping and then somebody trying to knife you. You're in the oh, I know, I know. Not far off what happens nowadays in some true, places. To be honest, yeah. Do you know? Uh, this episode we're talking about scary. Ooh, Halloween is spooky because Halloween when this gets released on Sunday, it re- gets released on Halloween. It's, it's when spooky. you're taking the kids trick or treating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 have your earpods in. Yeah, float exactly. around, yeah. do your bits. What are you dressing up as, Carla? <laughs> A hungover. <laughs> Would you be getting trick or treaters now to the to the flat? No. Well, maybe. I don't Ooh. know. I told you. I think I said this last year. Every year, Ray prepares. Yeah, so And cute. over the years, it's just gotten less and less and less. And I don't get it because there's like ten million kids on my dad's road. Yeah. Um. Oh, I remember your house being decorated last yeah, year. He loves it. How cute. He loves it. Yeah. You can't stop him. He just loves it. He loves a. He loves anything festive. Mm. None of it matches. Because he's American. Yeah, it's, I don't know, he's just, he's such a child at heart. Yeah. You know? It's cute. He's so cute. That picture, he's a good looking man. He was, he's a... Jesus, tonight. He would, Carla put a picture up of Ray and baby, was it baby Carla? Or baby, it was baby Carla. Baby Carla on... By the look on its face, did you know that, no, that it was me? It was, I just tapped through. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> watch you it on my dad, you fucking freak. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't miss him, he's very good looking. Um, pretty like, handsome. Oh, look at that. Jesus, there's Ray now. Um... Yeah, no, he's he's cute. He's a cutie. So tanned. Yes. Pointy elbows. Bless him. Actually, funny story, I will tell this first. So last year, or last episode, and I was going to record him, but he wouldn't let me. Stop it, you. I'm not going on the TikTok. Ah. Uh, okay, right. Um, so last week, we did school reports, and you were only loving it. Mm. You were only loving it. You thought that it was great. And we were talking a little bit about when I was in school... And the differences with my parents and blah, 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 blah. Mm. And I mentioned that um, Ray was in Trinity. Yeah. And it was gas because we were out for dinner the other day. And it's like he started a story. He was like, when I was in Trinity, and <laughs> we all just started pissing ourselves laughing. Yeah. And uh, one of the people that we were with were like, how, how would you know if somebody went to Trinity? And I was like, they'll tell you in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was telling us these mad stories. And he fucking was there scenes in Trinity. 
there was fucking scenes. So I totally, we've spoken about this on the podcast. If you've been a long time listener, I had a lot of independence as a youth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I get it now because I, like my mum, my mum was a mad thing, right? But she only became a mad thing in her later life. She wasn't a mad thing when she was younger. She was quite like, not conservative, but she was quite like, did things by yeah. the rules in the book or whatever. Yeah. She had a very strict father. Um, Ray was fucking wild. Him and his cousin went to Paris at 15. <laughs> Please remember, this is back in, would have been 70s. Yeah. Yeah. So he's 15. Him and his cousin went to Paris. His cousin was a mad thing. He was telling us about this story about, they basically went to Paris because the two older girls, so he had a million cousins, because mm. his uh, mum and dad were one of 11. All each right. of them were a family, were a sister and brother of 11. So he had uh, loads of cousins. So him and uh, this guy, Desi, of course. The two older girls, they were 18. Right. They wanted to go to Paris. So they sent the lads with them as like chaperones, but not really. Two they were like, you have to take it. <laughs> Me and my sister, my sister was like, imagine being 18 and being like, you have to take your brother with you. To- Mom, I'm not bringing him to Paris. Yeah. Mum, this is so embarrassing. You're taking them. <laughs> so they end up going to Paris, getting the boat. Yeah. They go to Paris. This is just, I was like, this is exactly where I got it from. So they end up going over there. At that time, Ireland had just changed their notes. Mm. So he had a new, he, he was like, I had a 20 in my sock. And that's how, and he was like, and 20 pounds was a lot of money. Yeah. But when he got there, no one recognized the new money. <gasps> so they had to live off the girls' money and Desi's money. And they were there for a week and they ran out of quid on day three. Yeah. As you do as a couple of 15 and 18 year olds. Yeah. So he was like, <laughs> I remember his cousin in particular was like off the rocker. And he was like, he was also quite like big and built. So nobody thought that he was 15. He was like, we blagged our way into a bar anyway. Mm. <laughs> Ended up going to this bar and ordering beers. Right. He was like, I know we've no money for these beers. Desi knows we have no money for these beers. Right. So they end up like drinking away. Your man's like, oh, we don't believe your age. Somehow they fobbed them off. And somehow they fobbed them off and end up doing a legger. Oh so the bill comes and they're like, oh yeah, we have to go and get our money, but then end up doing a hit and run. <laughs> Jesus. And dashing from the pub. Go on, Ray. I know. And then they get back to their hostel. Or they're staying with the girls. They're like to the girls, we've no quit. The girls are like, we thought you'd money. Because mm. everybody was banking on Ray's 20. Yeah, but but like obviously, you was, he's raised a chaperone like you would think. Yeah, so they get back anyway and they're all banking on Ray's 20 and... Obviously, they can't do anything. We're all to change. Doesn't even know what fucking Ray is that like. So <laughs> they end up going in the hostel. Your man's like, your man's trying to come up with a plan as to how they're going to get money. And he was like, because we lived off bread, and he was like, we bought some cordial. So I was like, oh pan, <laughs> living oh, off pan, pan. Yeah. Oh, pan. Oh, pan. So he's like, so we're living off uh, essentially orange cordial. Yeah, absolutely, honey, and um, and some and some bread. I was like, oh pan. So uh. this is happening. Then his cousin decides, I need to get some quid. He ends up going out into the hostel where there's two sex workers mm. asking the sex workers for money. Mm. The sex worker, and he's like, I need to make money somehow. Okay. And they're like, right, tell you what, we'll give you two quid for standing there for the night. Look big and strong. What? Or like as a <laughs> so security guard? bouncing for the sex workers. Fucking <laughs> right, yeah. Do what you can. So they get a few quid. And then the next day they're like, right, we really need to do something about the fact that we've no money. So they get the train to the Irish embassy. Right. Like, I was just thinking, if I was stung with no, like, you wouldn't know what, but I suppose that would be the thing to do, wouldn't it? So they end up going to the embassy and the embassy are like, we're not the currency, pals. So nothing we can do there. Mm -hmm. So... And continue to live off the bread and the diluty stuff. And I was like, what did your cousin spend their money on? He was like, I blouses. I don't know, honey. It was Paris. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, they eventually, after eating bread and diluty stuff, hop on to the boat um, where they do take Ray's. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. And he was like, and we feasted. Oh, we feasted the whole way home on that boat. Ah, je- what were they doing? Like, what did they do in Paris? Did they just float around? They just floated around. I go, what did you do? He was like, oh, we, you know, hopped on train. They had a travel card. They got a travel card before they went. So right. their travel was free. Okay. And I was like, but you were just eating bread and diluted stuff. And he was like, yeah. Like just going around yeah. Paris. Yeah. I suppose that's really how you tour, isn't it? 
But like back then, there's no like phones. Nobody could have checked in on you. You're fucking 15. You're here with a head the ball cousin who's bouncing yeah. for sex workers. You're here with Desi, like. In France. Yeah, I feel like the 70s, that was perfectly acceptable though. But I was just like, you, you mad, mm. mad fuck. And he's like, well, that wasn't the only time I was in Paris. I was in Paris also with the Trinity lads. But it's a cappella group. It's a cappella group. <laughs> but apparently, again, it just comes out. I was like, where? I was like, this is where I get it from. Yeah. This is clearly why you never really mind. They were like, oh, there's not much trouble she can get up to, like, down the country. You know? Yeah, I guess. not from bloody Paris in the 1970s. But no quit. But no quit. There's phones and bank links. How did a con- whole country, though, like, how could he not exchange? Because it was the new, they had just changed to the new notes. Surely, though, the other countries would have been notified. But Jen, this was back in the day. So maybe this changed on the, his, gra- his my granddad would have given him a fresh 20. Mm. Maybe of just being in the bank. The bank being like, oh, hold on. Here you go. Here's a fresh one. Yeah. Brand new. But France wouldn't have known yet. Do you know? I, I feel like that's a thing that they would definitely know. Do you know? Like that France aren't going to turn around and go, no. Well, apparently not. It's not real. Did, apparently not. Did he try more than once? Yeah, they tried. Well, he hopped on the train. He was like, well, you went everywhere, honey. And they wouldn't take no. his quid? Jesus. Wouldn't exchange his quid See, to francs. If I had have been, like, these days, quick Google. That's what I mean. I was like, what <laughs> yeah. did you do back then? Yeah, yeah. But I just find it, like... It wouldn't have been in any of the encyclopedias yet, like... Just scandalous. Mad, 15 and a half. Sorry, 15 and a half. 15, I kept oh, saying yeah. that, 15 and a half. half I was thing, like, yeah, yeah, that half thing really makes a lot. Of, oh, I was like, I suppose when you're closer younger. to 16 than 14, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know? This is it. It's a lot. But yeah, he continued to tell me loads more mad stories about he went on some Trinity, um, got arrested actually, so went on some fucking mad. <laughs> went on some Trinity trip and they went to Brussels, Paris. Oh, where else? There was a couple of other places that they floated, maybe Berlin. I don't know. But I was mm. like, so you went into Ireland, essentially. Yeah. He was like, yeah, but it wasn't that long. Um, and they decided to get up on one of the statues. What's his name? Is it Char- Charlemagne? No Let idea. Google that. Charlemagne. We so did. Europe. Yeah, Charlemagne. So there's a big statue of Charlemagne. They ended up somehow creating a human pyramid getting onto the statue then they're all up on the statue and guess what they can't fucking get down off the statue because by the way the statue's huge mm. so it's like the size of a house right. so they're all essentially standing on top of this house able to get up the fucking thing but weren't able to get down an ambulance comes mm. fire department comes and obviously the police come yeah and take them all down and bring them to the police station <laughs> where their tutors had to get them and collect them from ah stop yeah they did Euro trip. Yeah, essentially. So they had plenty of mad stories, and I was like, I said to him, "I got was it? It's just such a Trinity story, isn't it? Like it's just so fucking in the innocence." I know. I said, "What made you think that was cool getting up on?" I don't know, honey. I don't know. It was the scenes, love. Do you know? (laughs) Absolute horseplay. But you know when you're like did a fucking human pyramid yeah. ended up on top of the oh statue. God, guys, who's the lightest? Right, yeah. you're going up first. <laughs> Get up there, absolute horse like. <laughs> Do you want a soft drink? In the event the punch out. Um yeah, stop. and I was like, was this the same trip that you accidentally took ecstasy? That wasn't me, that was Des. <laughs> oh stop. <laughs> My dad uh, was actually cool. I no, I don't didn't hear I must, must ask him for the um the ins and outs of this story but him and, me, and his friend had motorbikes and they went like motor biking through like Paris and Italy and all this sort of That's shit a, you That's just forget cool. that our parents were he was cool he was fucking like, cool people like do you think Bobby's gonna think you were cool shy talk him once a week into a microphone I don't know <laughs> there's gonna be an awful lot of visual evidence that's the thing about our parents you don't really have that yeah unless if they were snapped on O'Connell Street like do you know what I mean and they were in the paper Popped, my mum and dad there's a fucking iconic picture of the two of them walking down O'Connell Street get and it there was this uh, photographer that used to just snap people and I don't know where the picture showed up but they have like a full length one and they just look fucking iconic in it they look deadly it's just so cool I must try and get it, it. I yeah. got back into that box that I went into for all my fucking reports Jesus Christ you have everything my ma kept everything in I just found a few photos did you Put one up array and apparently that got your attention, so. so yeah, it did. Yeah. Very good looking. 
Yeah. Really good looking man. Right, we're talking about ghost ghosts. stories. Ghosts. ghosts and ghouls and goblins. <laughs> Do you know any ghost stories? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to fucking sway into that. Like. You were like, um, anyway, you any <laughs> stories from you? Anyone to know? Anybody? Uh, ghost stories. So I, we've done versions of this before mm. where we've talked about urban legends. A lot of banshee talk on that one if you're into it. Folklore. Folklore. A um, lot of fairy talk onto it. I'm not a big fan of fairies as we're all. Yeah. Well, you're all now aware. Yeah. It's something that I strongly believe in, but also don't. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm like, that's not real, but I'm also not going to. Yeah, not gonna fuck. Not gonna tempt fate. No. So, um, not a big like. I've (laughs) there was one on TikTok. This is. I wish I saved the video, but it was like this guy, and it was like this is the most haunted thing that's ever. Like I've caught it all. The most haunted place in America. Like America is a pretty new country. Apparently, there's a lot of hauntings for something that's only like two hundred and sixty years old. Yeah, yeah. I just don't believe it. Yeah, no. Do you know? I don't think Americans know how old America is. Though. No, they don't. I think they think it was the first country. Yeah. Ever. I think they that's, were probably taught that. I mean, there are map where, centers around them. Come on. Yeah, that's where their fish, the fish walked up onto Florida Harbor. And started like waving a yeah. flag and shooting a gun. Yeah. Voting for Trump. <laughs> yeah. God yeah. damn that fish. Um, America. America. So we, I saw this video and it was actually, you know, I'm really jumpy. Mm. And I get real freaked out really you easy. You don't like so, horror stuff. No, I don't like horror. I don't like any of that kind of crack. But it was this one in particular. And your mom was like, this is like, I'm after getting it all on tape. Warning. Mm. This will be disturbing. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, why am I doing it to myself? Yeah. So I was like, Tom, come here. Will you watch this with me? Yeah, will you link me? Oh my God. It was. I'll try and find it and put it up. Okay. Because it was what I can only describe as this guy and then somebody else in a black morph suit. Right. Just posing in different <laughs> places. Like, I'm not joking. At one point it had like legs spread on the bed. I was like, that's not a ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you see stuff like that and you're like. Yeah. It kind of yeah. gives, have you seen them weird? What are they called? They're like, ugh, it's like another big thing at the moment where it's like these things in woods and they'll like mimic you. Oh. And they're like able to look like you until you get up close to them and then you're like, oh no, that's not it. And it's big in Australia. No. And you're like, oh, that's actually terrifying. Like a walker. Oh fuck. Let me try and get the name of them. Right. Okay. I think they call there's like a slang name for them and then an actual Right, okay. So let me ghost alien. <laughs> scary. Let me just yeah. words. Ghost. Just keywords. Alien. Oh, scary. Australian. Australian. <laughs> Morph suit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, do you know of any famous like ghost stories from like places that you know of? The or? um one of the babysitter, I can't remember in particular, you know, with the blood the blood strip in, they're like, What's the drip? And then it turns out somebody murdered the fucking babysitter, yo. No. Oh, I can't remember it now. It was a, it was very famous. Very famous when I was younger. Right. But I can't concentrate because I'm trying to find out the, the name of these sorry, Australian ha- walkers. It happened locally, did it? It was like the one that we were all told. Okay. And I used to love hearing it, but it wasn't Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers. Let me just, yeah, Skinwalker. That's terrifying. Skinwalkers, Ireland. Um, Navajo culture? That's where they're originally from. Um, it's a type of harmful witch that has the ability to turn into, possess, or disguise themselves as, as an animal. But... Apparently it's after getting big So they can like mimic you Right And they can They can mimic the sound of a voice But then if you get like too close to them Then it, Well you're too well, You're gonna die But mm-hmm. It's all very terrifying There's a lot of them videos Floating around at the moment God And it's like That's definitely And it's like You can see them like move And when they move They move real weird And like their limbs Are like really extended So they look like a per- They'll just be standing there Like in a field Yeah But apparently it's very dangerous If you're like hiking Gosh. Or any of that kind of stuff. But like, my only thing is when stuff is on video, like you can, you've seen the deep fakes now, and what can be done with so video? It's this just like explain deep fake. So deep fake is it's essentially Photoshop, but on a really deep fucking level. Like you could put, I think you put your, you film yourself doing something, 
And I don't I don't know the, the hardware or whatever it is. I know that there's apps that can do it, but you have to pay like a lot of money or if you're using the free version, it can take like five days because it's this computer program that you will apply, say like Robert De Niro's face, for instance. You'll take a, a screenshot of him and then it will be superimposed onto your face, but it's done that many revolutions of it is done. Like it can take fucking days to do to put all of Robert De Niro's like features onto you so you'll be acting in this video but with robert de niro's face but it looks now it looks you can tell a bad deep fake but some deep fakes like they're gonna be fucking harmful in years to come because people can like seriously like you could do a video a really good deep fake of like if you could do an impression of say donald trump now he fucking it doesn't do himself many favours anyway, but you could like really incriminate him by doing a video and making it look like he's saying something that he never actually said. Mm. Do you know? Like oh, you could get you somebody could into serious trouble. Yeah. And it's funny because, you know, the apps like Cameo and Memo and all those ones like yeah. that you can pay people for um like birthday messages and stuff like that. People are doing accounts, deep fake accounts on those. Because, like, I was scrolling through... I was going to say, I'd make a few pounds that way. Yeah, like, if you were a good impressionist, say, like, Al Foran, if he had the software to do a deep fake, and he could do, like, a Joe Pesci impression, for example, and he did a Joe Pesci deep fake, he oh could God, be paid money, money to pretend to be Joe Pesci, giving somebody... We could, we could fucking, do something for that. Yeah, like, it, it's it's mad, but, like, they were, they're charging people, because I was scrolling through Facebook the other day, and it was like... Uh, an ad comes up for it's a new one called memo it's like cameo but it's like deep fake of arnold schwarzenegger and i'm like okay this looks like you can tell this is not like this is real th- mm. th- this is a, a deep fake or whatever but people are fucking charging for them and all now i was like this is got shit is gonna hit the fan when this de- deep fake thing comes in but, but I, you'd have to have the so- like you'd have to put a lot of money into into the software the proper software yeah and it's still relatively new as well like it's like there's loads of different versions of it and stuff like that. And God fucking knows what's on the deep web. But my point is, with the likes of that going on, I'm like, Ant can be faked though. Ant can be photoshopped, do you know? So I'm showing Jen a figure here, or a, a Daily Star. I mean, not the most reputable I mean. source. But it's of a TikTok video. They're reviewing this TikTok video of a skinwalker. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just like... A like anything can be edited nowadays. Yeah. I've said this before. I do... And I don't believe in ghosts. It's like one of those things where it's like, I don't believe in them. But apparently if you are, let the go, if you, if you feel like you're being haunted, let the ghosts know that you're aware that they're there Yeah, and they'll stop trying to make you aware. Oh yeah. yeah. It's apparently like, I know you're here, Gary. Yeah. It's not going to be that specific. I'm going to have a bath. Don't come in. Yeah. And I know then, you're here. Then it'd be kind of cool. And then they're like, chill she knows i'm here it's kind of like that whole thing if spiders could talk they could nearly have a conversation with them like right you stay in that corner don't come, yeah like don't i don't mind you being up there but it's when you float around yeah once the communication is there everything gets easier yeah i, I think communication is honestly the barrier to it, most things it's key it's, it's key. key it's That's okay <laughs> it's okay but yeah so it that was something that was said, I think it was on which I was watching some, I've been watching a lot of mad shit lately, but it was on some kind of, I think it's because of the time of year that it is. Yeah. And there's so many people being like, I'm a witch and this is, oh. Yeah. Cool. There's Wicca and then there's been an actual gifted witch. Yeah. Which Again, I'm, something that I don't believe in, but I also do. It's something that you don't believe in, but you don't fucks with it either. Mm. Just in case. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things that I hope yeah. is real. So I can't, yeah, I'm holding out hope. A little bit special. A little bit special, a little bit magic. A little bit new. A bit of fucking magical stuff mm-hmm. going on, mm-hmm. do you know? Um, the ghost story that I love, there's, okay, so I watched the Rotunda, the, you know, the show, mm-hmm. and years ago there was a nurse on, her name was Jo, and she was saying that the Rotunda, because it's the oldest maternity hospital in the world, first one ever, and the busiest one in Europe. But it's so old that it's like the old sisters that used to work there. Haunted and you know. All this Why would they haunt? They they worked there their whole life. They're not no, fucking haunting it. Well they're it not now. haunting it. Like I don't mean it haunting it in a they're bad still way. There. Their, their presence is still there. Because she was on night duty one of the nights. And she said one of the. You know in a hospital where there's a ward is in a room. And then there'd be like a triangular light outside. And if somebody presses the 
call button, the light outside flashes. Mm. She said, I saw that light flashing. She said, but I went into the ward and nobody had pressed it. She said, but I went to the bed that the light was for and the baby was choking. The man was asleep. She said, so she believes that that was one of the sisters kind of warning her that there was something wrong with the the baby and to help the baby or whatever. That happened to Bobby, my first night. He was choking. uh, Did you wake up? I was awake or I could hear him struggling. Now they'd swaddled him so the lip of his blanket was underneath him and I couldn't move because I was still severely spinal blocked and all that sort of stuff. And I literally, I got my arm and I got the little... uh, bit of blanket underneath him and I just reefed it so it made him roll because yeah. he was in a swaddle and a load of gunk came out of his mouth and you were only like, that I heard him go for you so I was like that's great well, see, he's a section baby so all the shit they can get squeezed yeah. out of him when I, you know you're like, go for you son well done that's grand saved your life no worries I'll be doing that for the next while only, I'm only here five fucking minutes yeah on my face <laughs> I'm morphing you know like still saved you yeah. I know I couldn't settle after that I was like Jesus Christ like if, what, what, what if he does it again yeah that was terrifying but it reminded me of that as well I was like oh god that's what that nurse was talking about on day because mm-hmm. she said sometimes the windows do kind of open and like the wind sometimes when oh it's just like and in all parts of the hospital she's like you can kind of feel like some sort of like being watched or looked like over or something. Yeah. yeah. But I like them stories. Yeah, well those ones cool. Yeah, well those ones you want to, yeah. Do you ever hear the the story of the Hellfire Club? I've heard yeah, is this the one so, where they're but, playing cards? But it's nearly like a rumour at this stage, a Chinese whisper because fucking story changes every time. We talk yeah, but we talked about this on the yeah. Urban Legends one. It's it yeah. Playing cards with the of devil a, kind of thing. An Irish folklore. Well, I feel like there's a lot of Hellfire Clubs all over the world. Is there, yeah? I've decided this, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it would make sense. <laughs> if there was. Do you know? I wouldn't dispute it. He's kind of been everywhere. Yeah. Here's a club. Was it the club for? So. Yeah, the, the it was. There was a bunch of bikers in this. This was their club. Yeah. Their clubhouse. And a man in a cloak came to them. It was a pissing rain and horrible fucking night. It was on top of this mountain. Yeah. The, the foot of the Dublin Mountains. And he was like a traveller, was he? He was. He, I, nobody knows. Nobody knows where he was at. He was probably at the viewing point. He was like, there's a gaff. <laughs> probably riding at the viewing point. <laughs> Go over there. I'm going to... Clean up. Kn- knock in. Sounds like them lads are having a bit of crack. So yeah. he, kno- he knocks... Knocks at the door. How are you, lads? You're really setting the you scene. Right? Yeah. I'm a storyteller. Mm. Uh-huh. Oh. Turn that off, I bring. Oh, well, yeah. recording a fucking podcast. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Knocks at the door. Lads, all right, what is that? Oh, I'm just having, playing again, a bit of poker. Is, do you want to come in? Or have a few drinks. Oh. Daniel's in here. Do you want some? Lads are here. A few drinks. Yeah. Six lads in there. Yeah. Just playing cards. It, it, it's fucking rotten now, lad. Yeah. And, like, you know what I mean? You're getting drenched. You, like, that cloak. It's not working. Oh, that's not doing anything no. very well. Yeah. Then, all right, yeah, Grant. Thanks. Oh, nice one. Oh, it's in the middle of a game. All the way for the next round. They finish the game, right? <laughs> Johnny wins. <laughs> it's like best two out of three. Deals the cards again. Your man is involved now. We'll call him Tim. Now, what What will we call him? Because he's the devil. At the end of the story, spoiler alert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's just around it. Damien, Damien. 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 Damien's involved now. Yeah. He's like, oh, I want to play solitaire. No, we're playing poker. So he deals the cards out. Damien's there like, oh, yeah, yeah grand, whatever. Tim, from mm. earlier in the story, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. locked. Oh, pissed, yeah. Locked. Trying to do shuffle his cards. He's shy at shuffling. He can't shuffle his cards. No, he's not good <laughs> at it. He's not, he's not Johnny, is he? Don't try and do it. That's just saying. Okay. That's me. <laughs> That's me sound effects, right? Shuffling the cards. Mm-hmm. Wait. Big klutz he is. Do you have cards? No. I actually have a set of cards. That's that's a bit much. <laughs> I'll just do this. He's trying to shuffle his cards, right? That's Tim. Shuffling his cards. He's shy. He drops them everywhere. He's oh. fucking locked. He's not having a few too many Jack Daniels. And he drops them. And gets gets underneath the table. He's like, oh, there's fucking dumb lads. They're going to see me cars. I was going to bluff. All this stuff. He's only got a few twos and trades. He was never going to win. He was never winning, was he? He was never going to win. Nah. But he's raging, right? So he, he gets underneath the table. Anything. Any distraction at this point. Exactly. Yeah. He's like, oh, all me queens and me kings and all around the floor. What were they playing? They were Snap. playing poker. No. <laughs> No, that's what I'm saying. Like they wanted to play solitaire, but there wasn't enough 
cards for it. You're going to need a full, full deck of cards. Yeah. Yeah. So he looks up at Damien's feet. Club foot. No! <laughs> Hooves! <laughs> Hooves! See, this is what I mean about the Chinese whisper. It's club what foot. What would a club foot story. have to do? Was there anything, how would that identify because that you're the devil? Apparently that's what the devil had was a club foot. No, he had hooves. It was club foot. No, the he, way I heard it was that he was wearing a cloak. He didn't take off the soaking wet cloak. He said, you know what? I'm going to marinate. It's, it's warmer with it's it keeping on. the heat in, yeah. actually. Mm-hmm. I'm actually fine. I'm, gra- I'm, you, te- you tell the story from okay. the start now, the so, way I did. Different situation. Right. The lads are all having a session, right? Mm. A few drinks. Mm-hmm. Few puffs of the wacky tobacco, bits and bobs going on, right? A couple of hallucinogenics, probably mushrooms. Mm-hmm. That's not, you know, nobody was microdosing here. Yeah. Knock at the door, open the door. Man in a cloak. Thank you. Man in a cloak. Can I take some shelter, please? Right. Is this just this whole episode is just going to be the hellfire club? <laughs> Should, no, just, have to, should we, just retold old. We're doing. <laughs> we're just we're doing. Uh, well, people, this is how you heard it. Well, we should just read with the listener stories. We can just retell them in our own tone. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. We'll do commentary. Yeah, yeah. So, any com- they're like he's like saws like it's ve- it's very bad outside the storm storm coming. Out. I heard user having a bit of a bernie. Yeah, and they're like focus at the feds. Why? No, I don't think so. He's got a cloak on. Yeah. All right, let him in. Do you know? Yeah. So in he comes. That's all grand. He's very like they were playing poker, and um, it wasn't slap. Unfortunately, that was just my own. Yeah. Reimagining. Um, your man's wiping the floor with them, so they think he's cheating. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Now they're sculling the drinks. Yeah. You know they're handing it out, and your man is sculling the drinks. They're like we are a defo. But I also remember somebody at some point saying that they were going to murder him because they were so fuming that he was. It sounds like a biker club, yeah. Yeah, so they were like, they were so fuming and your man was ripping the piss because he was winning all the rounds and they were like, right, we're going to murder him, blah, mm. blah, blah. Anyway, in the midst of this, one of them so locked, he drops his cards, yeah. bends down to pick the cards up, mm-hmm. sees the hooves, right. freaks out when he comes back up from under the table, mm-hmm. your man had turned into Lucifer, kills them all. Yeah. That's why it's haunted. That, kills it's all, them all. It's all the, the bikers. I wonder what happened to their bikes. I, it wasn't bikers though. These are old gentlemen at a gentleman's club in my story. See, they were literally hell's angels in my story. Th- not back th- There was no fucking motorbikes back then. <clears throat> what year was it? See, this is what I mean, how the story is different, the Chinese whispers and all that. I heard <laughs> it was a motorcycle club. No, it was, this isn't like the 70s. This is like back in the 1800s. That could be a lie. Let me Google that. Right, I don't know. I heard that's the story that I heard. Seventeen thirty five. They didn't have fucking motorbikes back then, Jen. It's unlikely. They probably had a few wagons. Wasn't chucking the lads going for like a midnight ride. I was expecting them all in their cuts. But this is the way. No, this is, this is a what my a club fault. What's spooky about a club foot? This is oh, what I'm saying. It's not my fault. This is what was told to me. Like this is. Yeah. Fine. I was told this story, and it's mad how it changes. And I imagine just. You have us on Insta, tell us your version of the hell club, because everybody heard it. Yeah. But in some different version. Yeah, true. Mine was obviously a modern one. Oh, it was, it was the it first was Freemason Lodge in Ireland. What's that? They're the Freemasons. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very educated. They were like, it's, no, like the Freemasons are like ancient, they're like the Illuminati. Do you know what I mean? They're like, oh, oh like integral yeah. kind of like, yeah, like kind of like a, like a very old age fraternity Okay Do you know in that kind of way um, It sounds like a gentleman's club That sort of Yeah Like A lot of Trinity lads Thinking that Lads <laughs> yeah, Total horse lay <laughs> Yeah Absolute horse lay Absolute scenes in the Dublin mountains Scenes in the Dublin mountains yeah. um, Will we go for a little uh, break And then we go for a little Reader story We will indeedy Indeedy Right I have a, a ghost story here. Go. Well, I do have a ghost story for you. When my daughter was two-ish, I took her to my grandmother's grave. After about ten minutes of helping me clean the grave and put down fresh flowers, Rihanna, in brackets, my daughter, got this shit. Sheer... <laughs> say, who's Rihanna? <laughs> <laughs> she was just, just like... Uh, that was it. Yeah, no, I... Sorry. Um, I was going to try and come out with a joke to everyone. <laughs> 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 I was like, that was a core ball in the story. Giving a pause. Uh, yeah. 
dramatic pause. Uh, got this sheer look of panic on her face. She kept saying, the police are here, we have to leave. Not a sinner in sight, but kept repeating, no, mama, the police say we have to go. Then I turned around. There was two graves across from my nan's with separate family names, both state and guardie on the headstones. Freaked, picked up the child and ran for the hills. P.S. I remember your baby name pod. I named her before the singer. Oh, <laughs> she was expecting us to say something about it. Now I was trying to... No, don't don't mind me. I was just trying to say, like, oh, Rihanna suddenly entered. <laughs> you know, like, this is the... Start, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, I'm yeah. embarrassed. Really, but I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was trying to just turn it into a completely different story because I'm a bit hyper. You are. I am, yeah. You're on a different bus. I need to calm down. Um. So... Yeah, yeah, kids are terrifying. So yeah, so she could basically see the kid, the the police. The kids could see the policemen who were for some reason standing at their graves and telling them to leave, which is terrifying. Oh, do, I thought she was like the police are here. We need to leave. No, the police are screaming at her that they need to leave. Oh Jesus, no! So this, oh, yeah, that's God, what I mean. She kept no. saying the, the police are here. We have to leave, but kept repeating, "No, Mama, the police say we have to go." <gasps> no, I wouldn't be into that now at all. I wouldn't be into it like Kids, me, yeah. me mom being like very across the way from them two my jokes like yeah, but now what are you gonna do rip up the plot probably contact the families what do you tell your <laughs> get them to calm the fuck down what do you tell them that we know they're here yeah yeah just contact <laughs> <laughs> um, I have one here My dad passed away at home in 2017 The family were able to be with him when he was dying After a long battle with cancer Within seconds of him passing And my sister-in-law heard three loud knocks at the bedroom door I asked her to go to the door and ask whoever it was To give us a couple of minutes of privacy And when she opened it up there was nobody else there There was no one else in the house at the time either It wasn't frightening at all And now I like to think that it was my mum or someone else Coming to help him pass over Aww. That's lovely There is. I just was to let the window open they do the say head. that, yeah, yeah. Did you say that? And then so maybe he was like, "You didn't fucking leave the window open." I can't fucking. I can't leave. We're door. trying to. Yeah, we're trying open to the door. Go. That is such a comforting thing, though, isn't it? Like there are. Yeah. Like I often find that when somebody passes away, there's a, there's always something, isn't there? Yeah. There's always something that gives you that bit of comfort, whether you're just more aware of it or like whether it's a, like a butterfly that you yeah. end up seeing that like there's no other butterflies apart from this one. I remember a, a butterfly showing up, and it was not the time for year for butterflies. It was shortly after my granddad passed away. Yeah, it like was so weird. I have it on Snapchat. I can't remember the ins and outs of the actual story, but it was like I thought he was dead. I thought the butterfly was dead, so I picked it up. Mm. And I think I was trying to be fucking funny or something on Snapchat. I was like, "Granda," you know, something like mm-hmm. you know, just taking the piss or whatever. And then the fucking thing flew away. And you were like, "No!" I thought it was dead. I needed you for. Sketch. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was weird. Um, but it was very comforting as well. I was just like, oh, I wonder. Do you know? Gives you that bit of hope. Yeah. Uh, for ghost stories, every generation in my family has had somebody who had weird, almost premonition type dreams. I dreamt my skill flooded and uh, and of an accident, both of which later happened, right? The night my sister was... Okay, I'm going to have to try and... There's a few misspellings in this. The night my sister was spiked and we couldn't find her for seven hours, my aunt woke up from a dream that she saw my sister outside the local chipper in Kildare wearing the exact outfit she wore out that night. And then a dog bit her hand and she rang my mum and found out that she was missing at the time. But whenever I have a discussion with somebody about ghosts or spirits, light bulbs start flashing. A few years ago, I was talking to my roommate about ghosts and how he thought one of the girls who recently moved out might have had a ghost attached to her, as when she moved out, the energy changed in the house for everyone. As we were talking, we heard this hissing like a snake. Later learned this is a sign of bad spirits or something demonic. What? Anyway, then the lights flickered, so I was like, let's stop talking about it. This is freaking me out. So we walk out into the hall and head up the stairs and the lights start flickering again and we look up to see this dark shadow. Uh, So we run out the front door and I rang my boyfriend to come up and walk through the house. Why? I don't know. But I thought I, but he thought I was nuts. When he is done the walkthrough, we walk back in there and there, there are now, I think, now two white feathers by the stairs, which is, which is supposed to be a sign of your guardian angel slash spirit was protecting you and fighting off the evil. I couldn't sleep for weeks after that 
just uh, I wouldn't stay there alone just couldn't shake the feeling I was being watched weird things just kept happening it's stiff going me I can't read that I don't know what what fucking keyboard do you have on your phone there's lots of mad symbols in your thing <laughs> uh, stiff going missing oh stuff going missing I'd say that's supposed to say uh it all stopped when we moved out the night my nanny died I had a dream she was in my white night dress by my wardrobe when my mum woke me up the next morning to tell me she had died I blurted out nanny's dead isn't she I think she was I think I was eight at the time oh Jesus okay. you were gifted 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 um that's a lot of weird shit to happen to one person I was about to say did you do something in a previous life yeah I love this whole internal battle between the guardian angel and the ghosts. Yeah. Like, it was like, here's a hiss. Well, here's some feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubber. Here's a bang. Glue. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. here's a bang. Well, here's a soft him. Yeah. How about that? Here's some glitter. Do you know? Very dust. You can imagine them scrapping it. Do yeah. you know? Like, actually fighting it out. It's like the, in the, gaff. the whole thing of the Wizard of Oz, isn't it? Like, the evil witch and then the, the good witch. She's just smiling through everything and she still wins. That's, yeah, that's what it's like, you it's know? like well, here's some feathers. Everything. Yeah, but it's like all these symbols everywhere. How many symbols could you take? It's, it's fucking mad, isn't it? Like walk up, see like a pentagon, and then walk up another level and see something yeah. else. You're like, great. Yeah. Um, I have a listener story here. Not really a ghost story as such, but my brother sadly passed away to suicide around ten years ago. He was missing in the river for two weeks. Mm. On the thirteenth night, he was missing. I was lying in bed, and as I looked at my bedroom door, I could see a figure of somebody standing beside a Padre Pio candle that my mum had lighting in the hallway. The next day, he was found. I'll never forget that image. It was clear as day. I couldn't see anything other than a figure of somebody standing there, but I know that it was him. I've asked him in my head since never to do it again, as I genuinely shared the skit out. Of, or shared the, <laughs> shared, shared scared the, skit the out. shit out of me. Wow. See, that would be my thing as well. I'm like, if you're here, I don't want to know about it. Yeah. Okay. See, that kind of thing, kind of, that, that really intrigues me. I'd be like, do something else. <laughs> do you know? Here, turn on the light. Yeah. I'd be like, go on, show us. Then I'd, they'd scare the shit out of me. And no, I'd, I'd never like, do stop. anything to like, entice them. Like, I always move my mirror away oh, from yeah. my bed and stuff like that yeah. and you never have I'd never have two mirrors facing each other and all they, that a lot of people say that what's the story is it because they're opening a portal, portal. Yeah. yeah portal oh, yeah. them pesky portals yeah you have to yeah. be careful just stuff like that you just don't want to be oh, inviting you don't want to fucks with it like no you no. don't no. I've said this before there was a time in Ray's where my bedroom was deaf there was something weird going on in my bedroom mm. for like I was around from like 19 to 21 Right. There was definitely a period of time where there was a couple of odd things happening. Okay. You know, a couple yeah. of figures in the corner, a couple of waking up, definitely thinking that there was someone there or something there. You know, there was a, you know, but that was a very small yeah. amount of time. I The only thing I can really think of that happened recently, you know, like that, you have the butterflies and the robins and all that sort of stuff and you kind of take them as signs. I think for yourself, just for your own sense of comfort yeah. and stuff. But the only thing I can think of recently, do you remember that? Uh, it's like a, a thermal heat detector on TikTok, and loads of people say that it like can if you'd point it at an empty yeah the space, infrared, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you point it at an empty space, that if you see a figure like that's a ghost, yeah. and you know all that sort of shit. And I was like, that's a lot of bollocks. Like that's absolutely not true. And I look was looking through my drafts on TikTok. And I, I actually posted it. It's on me TikTok because I was like, I had this fucking thing six months or something in me dress, but I only really noticed it when I went back and watched it because I was only watching it because Bobby was so tiny in it. Mm -hmm. And I was just looking back at like, you know, ah, little baby, little yeah. little. But I had that thing on it and I was like, I'm just going to test it because you know the way that they say that babies can see this shit? Yeah. So I pointed it at the ceiling and the infrared thing was going off on the ceiling. And I was like, yeah, there's a boiler up there. Do you know, like it's yeah. hot. You know that's yeah. that's what's going on, but then I noticed after watching it like on repeat a few times, Bobby laughed every time the the filter was going off, and when the filter went off, like disappeared, he stopped making noise. It's so fucking strange. I just thought it was interesting. Like I was like, that's mad the way that when it flashes, and he wasn't looking at the phone, he was looking at the ceiling. So when it flashes, he goes ah, and then when it go like it stops, he stops. And it's perfect, on point, every time it happens in the video. It's on me TikTok. I'll post it on the stories. Bit mad. I was just curious, do you know what I mean? But I was just wanting to see what was happening. But at the time, I didn't 
Tinker. Yeah. Not me. It was only when I was watching back the drafts. I was like, hang on a fucking minute. That's a bit coincidental. Like, that's the only kind of experience that I have. I've loads of friends that s- say that they've seen figures and like, there's loads of um, there's actually my friend's house. Her mom and her mom would be straight fucking lace. Like, no, not one type of a bullshit or like, yeah, absolutely not. Wouldn't spoof wouldn't, you. Wouldn't spoof you. Wouldn't try and take the piss out of you. She's a straight. Do you know what I mean? And she's seen a little boy in her house a number of times. A little boy with like a really old fashioned, you know, like the little Peaky Blinders cap. And like braces and a little uh, short and shorts, kind of just peeping up from behind the banisters because they used to sleep with the door open oh. and the landing light on for the kids. So she'd see him often enough. And I remember her fella, they were living together. But my um, thing is, how can they break through the veil? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes they don't cross over in the first place. I see. And this is why we're like, oh, well, how, can, one, how can some people, do you know, there's just, there's a lot I don't. Yeah. Like how are some people And then I've seen things before being like Oh It depends if you're paying attention or not And you're like Yeah mm, No I don't buy that either mm. I know I don't know Like it, it, It's just weird with whorehouse Because there's been so many different stories From different people And there, none of them are bullshitters They wouldn't lie to you like Or look no, for attention You know You know the type yeah. you know, You're just like Oh yeah here's another one of their bullshit stories but her fella was downstairs having a smoke outside the back garden, or outside the back door. And she was upstairs. She was pregnant on Jack. I think they were waiting to move into their house. And uh, he was like, he was like, he came upstairs and he was like, what do you want? And Amy was like, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? And he was like, you called me. And she was like, no. He was like, Amy, I was standing outside that back garden having a smoke and I heard Neil in my shoulder. Because he was uh, in my ear, over my shoulder. Because he was like, how the fuck, like, she's eight months pregnant, yeah. how the fuck did she get up the stairs so quick, you know what I mean, yeah. like, he was like, that was you, no, she was like, no, I haven't moved from this bed, like, what are you talking about, and th- that's what I mean, he's not, a bullshitter, yeah, yeah. like, he wouldn't tr- just make this shit up for attention, do you know yeah. what I mean, attention yeah. would be the last thing that they'd want, so it's just, there's been enough stories from that particular house that I'm like, I wonder what was there before the house was, do you know, yeah, was, yeah, was it a farmhouse? Because like we moved into those houses, and it was like the equivalent of moving to Maid. Like it was nothing but cornfields out the back of our house. Like we were starting to take over Clonie yeah. at that stage. Yeah, when it was all being built, yeah. so it was all really like it could have been a farmhouse. It could have been could have been anything. A barn. A, yeah, yeah. And then there was loads of little like fair, we called them fairy hills behind our houses where you went to catch tadpoles, but they were called fairy hills because it was like. Hills. Fucking rolling meadows yeah. and shit like that. All very magical. What bit of weird. I don't also get people that are really into like, so many people have been like, I'm so excited for this podcast. And I'm like, why? It's, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it would give you the heebie jeebies. Ghosts don't like get me mm. going. Going. They're not my you, Well, you don't like horror stuff. No, I don't. No, I don't like anything that's bad. No. I don't like inviting that and I think too much about them anyway um New Year's Eve 2020 we had our friends over with their baby and our baby was three months old our tiny Bichon dog was upstairs in her crate bed and we heard all this noise so husband goes to check on the dog crate and has been moved from the front bedroom to the middle of the landing blocking access to both front bedrooms and the dog trap behind what the crate had been moved from the front bedroom to the middle of the landing, blocking access to both front bedrooms. And the dog was trapped behind. Holy shit. The dog was out of the crate. So, okay, maybe she did it herself, put it all back, and then again, more noise, and goes up. And two washing baskets had been moved to block our bedroom door. What? And the landing light was swinging. Oh, my God. Why? What were they trying to block the door for? Years before, again on New Year's Eve, strange voices and sounds and things being thrown down the stairs. It's only ever on New Year's Eve. Oh. Okay, what the fuck? You need an exorcist in that gaff. Something happened. I would look into the history of the house. I find that shit fascinating. I want to know what happened in the house beforehand. I would want to know. I want to see it. Because I... Like, there's a good bit of history. Like, say... In my family, and then the houses have been sold, and I'm like, I wonder, did the new people know what happened in the house? Oh, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. Our neighbours. I'm like, I wonder, did the new neighbours know what happened in the house? Do you know? Yeah. Would love to know that. Just a little talk. I would try and find out if I was you. <laughs> I was supposed to say, well, especially New I know Year's the Eve, that's that something happened. Yeah. That's if it's only I mean. ever on New Year's Eve, what can they only like break through? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. That's very strange. It's nowhere near sour. Have it, uh, a camera set up this New Year's <gasps> Eve. <gasps> yeah, we're close to it. You've got six weeks to prepare. Since you know, like, yeah. Put no nanny. longer, I'm a liar. Put Ten the, weeks. Put the nanny cam up or whatever. Eight yeah, you'd weeks. have a nanny cam. You have a three-month old. Well, eight. you did. Yeah. Eight, eight weeks. I, irrelevant. Okay. She, it's coming. We, we're yeah. expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I was about eight, this is not me, this is a listener story. Uh, when I was about eight, I was sleeping and woke up to a Victorian girl in a communion dress about the same age as me. Nope. Just <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. Just standing at the end of my bed, uh-uh. staring at me. I put my head under the blanket and prayed until she was gone. Never saw another ghost. That is... I love the praying until she was gone. I think she's like, what you doing? It's, yeah. It's the fucking... And then, like, I suppose when you think about... Do you know, like, Amityville horror and... Yeah. The Exorcist and all this shit is supposed to be based on, like, true events. Isn't it mad, like, that they're based on true events? Like, Exorcist and, like, Stigmata and all that sort of stuff. That has happened. That's true. That has happened in a capacity. Yeah. Isn't it mad? It is a bit weird, yeah. It's fucking terrible. It's like. absolutely fucking crazy. Um, when my boy was three, he woke me up saying he kicked the ghost. Me thinking it was a dream, put him in our bed and we went back to sleep. Next morning at breakfast, he was telling his older sister what happened. He first woke up and his blanket was in the air. <gasps> oh no. He snatched it back and went, I love that. Give that back to me. <laughs> Mine. Mm, I'm cold. Um, I went back to sleep. When he woke up again, he said the ghost had lifted him up in the air, so he kicked it really hard in the chest and it dropped him. Sorry. We all forgot about it, but roll on four years later and his three-year-old brother, they share a room and his brother's bed is where his was before, start waking at night, fighting with something in the middle of the night. I ran in and asked him what was wrong. He said, it's okay now, ma'am, I got my blanket back. Oh my god another night i woke when his soother fell out of the bed and i thought i saw his older brother give it back to him the older brother said he didn't Fuck. oh jesus and i how were they picking you up see this is what i'm like where are they going apparently well i mean it depends on what you believe in but apparently if there's enough energy you know what a spirit like yeah. that's when they start moving shit like if they've been they put enough energy into it I, like that's an urban But then that must a, be like A year's worth of energy Yeah I would So be. for one trick they, they would be wrecked For one trick Look at me Like what are you going to do Now the baby's in the air What are you going to do Yeah where are you bringing it Why are you doing that Do you know What's the point Yeah it's very param- paranormal activity though Yeah Yeah That's It's terrifying And then the fact that like It's so coincidental That it's like The blanket yeah. Sorry three years later Yeah so, that, Yeah you'd be like the, sorry One thing I would be terrified Terrified of Is looking in the monitor Because it's already black and white And when Bobby sits up And opens his eyes He already looks demonic Because his little fucking blondie hair Is standing He's like a Ginny Joe mm. And then you have the eyes It's like that night vision type bit You know it's just white Looking at you Yeah I hate that Imagine seeing something else In that screen Oh no Like No Like that whole paranormal activity thing Yeah no. No. Imagine. Uh, for Ghost Stories episode, my friend's parent took me and my best friends away for the weekend during TY down in Limerick. We joked about how there was an eerie hotel busking it was and how the lights sometimes flickered. At one point, all the lights completely went out. We shook it off as it was an old building until my friend goes, ah, if there's actually a ghost in here, prove it. Turn the lights back on. And, and with, and, <laughs> do it yeah and with that don't all the lights even the ones originally that they didn't have on light up fair to say that's the last time i turned to ghost that's what we say uh, if you were good enough to spin me again Ooh. yeah yeah <laughs> god that's mad <laughs> Sivarinis. had this chivalry i'm spooked i'm spooked um, I don't think it's really a ghost story But me and my boyfriend live in my great nanny's deceased old house There's been a few wakes and stuff in this house So much that we call out the back bungalow Or the back bedroom We call our back bedroom In quote in brackets bungalow The morgue 
Because that's where the coffins always were. But anyway, imagine I'm in the morgue. Uh, but anyway, long story. How can people work in morgues? We've asked this before. If somebody works in a morgue, will you please come on the podcast? I'd love to do an episode. Yeah. I would, would love really to do an episode. I think that'd be so interesting because like you don't really. I have so many questions. Yeah. Like I it's don't understand those, embalming or any of that yeah. stuff. Like I'd love to know. Yeah. I'd love to know more because obviously it's like a big thing in America. It's just, I think we should actually, like my put a box up during the week and just ask what topics are taboo that you'd be afraid to ask somebody. And we'll get somebody who's an expert on who doesn't mind talking about it. I would just ask them the questions that yeah. people don't ask. Yeah, and be like, this is so inappropriate. Yeah. Can you tell us more about it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We just want to learn. We just want to be aware. We want awareness. We just want to know. Do you like it? Like that I idea. like that. That's a nice idea. Well done, you. That's it. We have so many ideas that we that we never, never do. do. <laughs> uh, put that on the list. But anyway, long story short, my boyfriend swears the house is haunted. One night he was in the bathroom peeing, and he swears somebody pulled him back by the jumper. Oh yeah. I mean, if I was a ghost, I don't think I'd be going around pulling people by a jumper while they try and take a piss. But however, they've done weirder things. They have done weirder things. I suppose, as you said, it's like are they like building up to the energy, or they're like, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I know what you mean. Oh, yeah. oh. That I was, I was after, something was after skipping my mind earlier on. I like, kept trying to, go, what the fuck was I going to say? What the fuck was I going to say? And my, so my uncle, two sets of twins in my family. My mom's twin who took her own life and my uncle's twin who took his own life. Right? Um, and he lives, one, the uncle who's still alive, one of the twins, lives in Cavan. And his next door neighbour is a quote unquote medium. And his brother-in-law column is also a quote well, he's not he, he's not a walking medium but he like he has said he's seen some shit in the past like he can see people's auras and i remember one of my friends because i hung around with his son like and uh they had gone out on a a session one of the weekends and they had taken a load of e i wasn't with them but this is what my friend said she was just like oh my god we went back to julie's gaff and Collie opened the door and he was just like, I did not fucking like what I saw. Just like around them, whatever they brought back with them. And he was I don't give a shit what you do. Once you are okay and you start and fucking dying on the side of a road, he says, but what you brought back was fucking unbelievable. It was demonic. And like, yeah. he's not like he's like again, so straight, not an attention seeker, not one of these bullshit. Not an, atten- like, not an attention seeker. Do you know what I mean? Seeker. Like, cause there are some people that are just like you know, like, you know the type. You yes, know the type. Yeah, yeah. You know the type. But so he, that was one of the stories from him. But he has gone up to me, Uncle's house in Cavan, and their bathroom was riddled with whatever. I don't know what it was. He, because he went up to the toilet. They got the whole house done up, and he went up to the toilet. He was like, "Some freak shit up there." Like, I don't <laughs> freaking. I do not like that at all. Now, funnily enough, I think they had a mirror in the corner and a mirror that was nearly. Not completely opposite to it, but there could have been a portal. Oh, because it was a there sw- you go. It was a swinging mirror. Yeah, it yeah. Was a no, be mirror. careful, gang. Um, and let that. he was like, no, that's that's fucking ridiculous. So he had to do something up in that bathroom because the next door neighbour, who was a walking medium, has been in the bathroom and gone, this isn't right. This, there's Yeah, because he's a portal. Yeah, there's something uh, There's something not right here. And she, it, I don't, can, How did can, she not know with the fucking mirror? I can't, I don't know. I can't remember whether it was Collie or the next door neighbour who turned around and said, uh, there's a watch. There's a watch that's not ticking. And then the, the it was, so it was me Uncle Tony's clock or watch or something like that that pa had that nobody knew he had like mm. he it was one of those secret things like we're twins and this is you know we mm-hmm. he, it was something belonging to him and i think i could be completely wrong now I don't, like my sister and my cousins are probably listening to this going no that's not happened but i'm pretty sure something happened with the watch that he, he either got a fix or started taking out of nowhere again after whatever happened in the bathroom shit was cleared out of the bathroom or whatever yeah that's that's another story that I can kind of vouch for people that I know. Like all of a sudden, you're full of fucking ghost stories, I'm huh? Full of fucking stories. Um, did I, okay, so when I was about this is another one. When I was about six, my great granddad died. Uh, all in all, there was we were pretty close. As a six year old, I had no clue what that was, and I had never experienced this, so I didn't understand what the big hullabaloo was when we, when he was playing football with me in my nanny's front garden. I ran into my nanny's kitchen and I said, I told you Granddad Sam would come back and look at my aunt's face. And the look on my aunt's face, who had only been going out with my uncle for a few months. 
I was supposed it was supposedly priceless. I told the two of them that they were wrong and he came back to play with me, but he had to go away again. I find the story hilarious, but my auntie still gets creeped out when it's mentioned. She's out the front. Yeah, well, you would, wouldn't you? You'd be like... I told your grandad would come back. That's mm. terrifying. Yeah, kids are... But then as well, with kids, and I'm not saying like... Uh, that's what, you're not a liar, but then, you know, when you're a kid, like... Oh, the imagination. The imagination. Yeah. You know, and you're kind of like, he's here. And you there. can't really tell what's real and what's not. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 you don't have that kind of perception. Yeah. Um... I have one here. My dad used to own a pub that was extremely haunted. You'd always hear someone running up and down the stairs so creepy. Oh, for fuck's sake. The alarm was at the top of the stairs and my sisters used to work there. They were taking the piss out of one of the girls working there going to turn on the alarm saying the ghost was going to get her and she didn't believe in ghosts. So she went up. See, this is another thing. I'm always like, well, if you don't believe in ghosts, then I, no, go away. Go go into this house that I think is haunted, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's what I would do. Um, She went up the stairs and when she was up there, somebody whispered in her ear, but she can't remember what. She nearly shot herself running out. There was a time when the cupboards in the office slammed open and closed. Curtains standing up, proper poltergeist shit. Also, when my sister got pregnant, her house got so haunted, my sister heard somebody tapping at her bedroom window on the second floor multiple nights. People walking around the attic and my room was downstairs. I was home with just my mom. She was asleep upstairs. Somebody was walking around the downstairs, stopping outside my door. I was convinced somebody had broken in my sister's husband. Or sorry, I was convinced somebody had broken in. I'll put in a full stop, imaginary. Yeah. My sister's husband arrived with a hurley, hurley, uh, ready to fight someone who had broken in and there was nobody there. It was terrifying. God. It's just unsettling, isn't it? Yeah, it is very unsettling. Realistically. Uh, I have another one here. Lying in bed one night at home, my friend was staying over at 3 a.m. and Lady Gaga, bad romance, started blaring. <laughs> <laughs> the higher ones uh, no, no one in my kitchen And on track 7 on the CD Like how So it was It wasn't even the first song on the CD My friend went to a fortune teller weeks later To be told it was an old friend of my dad's And she didn't mean to scare us What the actual fuck Wow what? That, that's mad So they went to a medium a couple of weeks later And it was like oh that was your dad's friend She <gasps> said she didn't mean to freak you out Sorry That's mad isn't it I'd be like, well, will you tell her to not do that again? Ask, ask her how. How did she get yeah. to track seven? Is she harm like is she harnessing all the energy? Yeah. She imagine hurt? imagine using that and being like, oh, not this chin. <laughs> not the, not you, not you. You know? Yeah. Um, there's a curse in my family. Oh, great. A girl between the age of three and four in every gener- generation that lived in our family's house, not where I live, has died in unusual circumstances. Two were due to fires or fire logs crushing one. This has happened since the 1700s. Discovered this when doing my family tree in transition year and said it to my mum and she was like, uh, we know and we don't talk about that. <gasps> Maybe the house is just a fire hazard now. Yeah, it's, it seemed, yeah, there's a theme. You should probably get it retrofitted. Get rid of the fireplace. What's retrofitted? So when you get all insulation and up-to-date sort of shit. You don't need a fire in a the house these days. You really don't. There's no need. It's just fucking dangerous. But it's, it's lovely and cosy. Ah, oh, that's what Adam says. I'm like, oh, I could, it's intense. Have you ever fucking sat in front of a real fire for a couple of hours? It's very... It's a bit much like... You smell like a pub, but it's there's not... There's no yeah. need. I yeah. really don't see the need. Um, This is funny. Okay. So earlier when we were doing the ghost stories pod, I did put up a threat. Oh, you did, yeah. I did. I said that uh, <laughs> if you didn't provide us with stories, I would make a meal out of my Japanese baby story that we've all heard. If you haven't, please DM me and I'll bloody voice note it to you. A number of times, yeah. I, it's been on... We Se- did it recently again. Podcasts, we yeah. did it recently again. I can't remember. Two or three episodes Dreams ago. Dreams we did. And where? Dreams. 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 Yeah. Dreams. We did on the Dreams episode if you want to hear it. It's terrifying um and i put that up earlier and i said i will make a meal out of it (laughs) some replied please don't a few years ago when you first came out with that episode i was on a plane i had my eyes closed listening and i opened my eyes and there was a little japanese boy peering over the seat at me to say that i shat myself it's an understatement i took a picture of the boy after because i was like what are the chances i must find the picture to actually show oh so yours was real yeah he was a real one he was a real (laughs) it just it was an unlucky coincidence oh my god imagine a mad, you would never get over that. I'm dying to see the picture. Imagine being like, I can't believe that happened. Then opening, I didn't think that. Do you know when it happens to you? You don't find that story so unsettling. It unsettled a lot of people. 
Yeah. Still to this day, people Do are like, I can't me, believe. I think um, if you can relate to her, if you've had a ser- uh, like a, a similar sitch happen to you, then you, it unsettles you. I didn't find it that unsettling. But a lot I of people did. Yeah. It's, it is freaky. But so I think it's because I haven't really had any experiences like that. I'm just like, I couldn't imagine that feeling, you know? Yeah. I can't relate to it. I suppose when you're putting yourself in that person's yeah. position. Yeah. Uh, since we moved into our house about 15 years ago, I've always thought I've seen someone passing our sitting room door. It has glass panels so that you can see through. I thought it was all in my head until one day my dad and sister looked at the door at the same time as me to see who it was passing. We were the only ones in the house. <gasps> no. Ooh, scary. Go. That's, yeah, that's, it's, it's weird. Uh, that's all we have. Do you have an unpopular opinion, Carla, for this week? I forgot it was my turn. I'll find one. Hold on. I did have one earlier. That's good. I was thinking about something. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we've time for it. It's another long one. <laughs> So you see this whole like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Mm. No. Okay. Explain. Like if you experience trauma. Yeah. You're not getting over that. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't particularly, it changes you. Yeah. Unfortunately, whether it's conscious or subconscious, it does change you forever. I think it should be more so what doesn't kill you. Okay, okay, teaches you. You're still alive. Very good. You've, you've been through enough, and you know you can get through it. Full stop. What doesn't kill you makes you more prepared the one I've to give seen, advice. The one I've seen lately has been uh, don't what doesn't kill you makes you a bit more crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Because we pull, it's like that self-deprecating. Humor. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and I think that's probably better. I just don't like it's. It's this kind of like, you know, when it's you know when somebody's terminally ill, it's like I just need them to keep fighting through the cancer. It's like, sorry, no, yeah. that's not. You know, that's not. I know. Intelligent is it? You know, it, in that kind of way, it's like. It can be a coping mechanism for a lot of people, but it kind of goes back to that toxic positivity yeah. type of realm where you're like... Where you're like, it's going to make you... Don't worry, yeah. honey, you got through it. It's like, I just suffered a very intense trauma. Yeah, you don't, I know, don't, you don't know what's in my head right now. And like, I don't know how that's going to affect me or, yeah. you know, and when that's going to come out. What doesn't kill me makes you think it's grand. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it. it is. That's what it is. Makes you think it's grand because I'm constantly thinking about it. Yeah. It's like, what well, doesn't kill well, you me? You cope a bit better. It's a good story for you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but you feel like you've done your job. Yeah, you've yeah. asked me how I am. I said I'm fine because I don't really want to answer the way I want it. Conversation's ended. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that's where we are. Yeah. Great. Uh, have you got a stomp bar of this week? I do, yeah. Let me find it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that this is a very short jingle. Yeah, I'm... Are you going to be ready? Give me one... Give me... <laughs> You're like that. Give me two. And then, and then I, and, and, and then, <laughs> and, 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 and then, and then she said, and, what do you think? Will I, pre- will I press the thing? Yes, I have it. I yeah, have it. Okay. Carla's okay. Stomper of the Week. Oh, you had to do a little fucking harmony there. Stop around the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I should actually. Let's, let's let's her, I'll harmonize with it. So I'll go, oh, I don't know what. Are I'm you going to go I'm low or go high? I'll go, I'll go low. Okay, right. Right, go. okay. Carlos, stop Come on, get on with it. Um, I can't pronounce your name. <laughs> the song is called X E X E X. Yeah, um, and it's just kind of like it's a nice vi- vibey. Uh, sorry, the singer's name is Kiana Lede. Okay, there's an accent on the E. Right. So, pan. <laughs> right. Pan of chocolate. Oh, pan. Oh, pan. <laughs> but, um, I'm not going to say that forever than now. Pan. Uh, it's just a really nice R&B belter. Okay. Do you know? Yeah. Where you're like in the car and screaming. And I think a lot of people can kind of relate to it. It's just a song about an ex and her one yeah. try to be friends with them or whatever. But you know, it's one of those songs in the car that you're going to be like, ah! 
Yeah, you're yeah. singing along with it. Yeah. You're going down so the road. So you're going down the road yeah, and you're putting it on and you're like harmonizing. Yeah. You're doing Stomper of the Week in the back. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Um, that's all, well, that's where we're going to leave it for this week. I hope you have a happy Halloween. A safe Halloween. A very safe one. No bangers, no fireworks. Don't Mind be, your animals. Don't be show, shooting Roman candles at people. Mind your animals. Mind your animals. And yeah, the clock has gone back as well. So was, oh, it's so dark. Oh, it's so like so bad as well. Yeah, no. It's, and then the bank holiday wasn't on the last weekend. It's so no, fucking we were, weird. The like, bank holiday threw me. Yeah, we weren't expecting Wednesday today. I lost so many. Yeah. Thoughts. <laughs> yeah. I lost many actions. Tomorrow was Thursday. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No, it really is. Do you know? Oh. Awful, isn't it? Right. Well, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure that you're following us on Insta because we put shit up on there. And we're on Patreon as well, which we're about to go and record for our mini sode coming up to the end of the month as well. So if you're at the start of November, a few quid, like I want to binge on a bit of TO. Look, the, it, the weather's about to get shit. Yeah. You're not going to be able there's to. There's an awful lot of episodes there. I've figured out there's 72 as where I'm sitting now. There will you be 72 two, two weeks ago. Yeah, did you not see the story the other day that I put yeah. up on the close friends? No, I kept um, naming the mini solids. Oh yeah, you were like sixty-eight, and then 68, 67, 68. and then sixty-eight, and then it was sixty-seven, and so we were actually at seventy-two. That's not including all the guest episodes. But that was that two have. episodes. That was two weeks ago. No, that, see the this bank, is seventy-four. The no, it's not. It's seventy-three. It is. <laughs> this is going to be seventy-three that we're recording. The bank or threw you, threw you way off. Oh We're going to have to have a little a spiritual a little. reset. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Go on, we talk to you next week. Bye! Bye.